And did your mother I think you said she was very unhappy with him. Did you agree that she despised him? I really I can't speak to whether my mom despised him or didn't. She was very, very disappointed with the way he treated me. Okay. Really the answer is yes, no, or I don't know. So she's trying to extend out it's deceptive answering. And George has picked up on it, obviously. George is well trained. Read to yourself the about the first half of that second real paragraph. Just review it to yourself, and then Ms. Kaplan ask you another question. Okay. All right. Does that refresh your recollection about what your mother felt was the most important non-negotiable term of your divorce? It does. Okay. And what was that? That was relocation. And did your mother, I think you said she was very unhappy with him. Did you agree that she despised him? I really, I can't speak to whether my mom despised him or didn't. She was very, very disappointed with the way he treated me. Okay. And did you ever call him names? I don't remember her calling him names. Wow. Big lie. Big lie. Oh, I'll, oh, I'll show you now. So there's a whole treasure trove of um, Donna's emails. This is just one email back in June of 2013, like a year, almost to the date, you know, a year and eight days um, before it. Page one of nine. This is a nine-page email of the controlling monster that Donna is. Ford, Wendy, please read this. Can you imagine getting email after email from your mother? Dear Wendy, from Donna and Harvey. Now, Harvey sees every email. So it comes from Harvey too, right? Donna and Harvey at gmail.com, June 26, 2013. To Donna Harvey Aderson. Ben, what? Please read this. So does she see the... That's interesting, right? Said it to herself, Wendy, please read this. wonder if she can see within a business email. That's interesting. I wonder if anyone's looked at that before. Dear Wendy, since neither of us feels up to talking, let me share with you what we're all feeling as far as your response. Who talks to their kids like that? When I wrote you this morning, we felt that you had reasonable thoughts as to what the judge might think would day regarding the charade we had hoped you would participate in. However, the more we think about that, we begin to realize that you and we have no idea what this judge will do or say or think. Who would have thought that after paying an attorney $600 per hour for 10 months, she would take an hour and a half of testimony, not ever bothering calling gibbers to the stand, and decide that the family support for very young children evidently means nothing, and a job that pays 10 times what your unsecured, untenured, dependent on state budget cuts job pays in Tallahassee will just be fine for your children. Does she care that after expenses you'll save next to nothing at the end of a year, does she care that even little, if anything, will be put away for the children for their current future education? Does she care that extracurricular activities, sports trips, eating out in restaurants will always be a financial challenge you for the boys? Clearly, she did not take into consideration the future earning potential and benefit for your children. She didn't care that there's no backup support system whenever your preschoolers is sick. All she cared about was if the father has been pulling out their toenails. You should... You should give up any financial betterment for you and your children and raise them in a place that you agreed to go to because Jibbers only had FSU as a job offer. Of course, as a graduate of FSU Little School and native of Tallahassee, she no sees nothing wrong with living there. Obviously, as a native of South Florida, you know better. Our point is, it's obvious that you and Kristen haven't figured out the judge so far. Kristen, who's running a fraud with her, haven't figured out the judge so far. You are both shocked at the rapid decision 
based on nothing that was presented. So how do you think at this point you can figure out what Judge will say regarding your decision to introduce Christianity into the boys' lives? He goes this anti-Semitic drama again. People go to prison and change their religion all the time. Oh, she's going to prison in 2013. Man, isn't that funny? People go through difficult times and find Jesus. Jesus was Jewish. He had positive teachings. He gives people hope. And best of all, you get me to go to heaven. You get to go to heaven in the end. Sounds good to me. Obviously, it will sound good to Judge Hobbs. She goes to church. There will be multiple donations from her church pastors and ministers and financial contributors contributions website she's a southern black lady how do you know this won't be music to her ears to hear this i think we've got a bit of racism coming in here have we from donna would you call that racism it leans that way doesn't it the way it's toned like a southern black lady would like some money i don't know i'll let you guys decide on that some possible options on jobs Hodge's decision regarding Josh Holiday's with the boys. This is page three of nine. Um, I just played what she said in the trial. I don't know if my mother called him names. So this is a year before his death. As far as losing the children on Josh Holiday's, there are a couple of alternatives to this. First of all, it may happen, but unlikely. He is entitled to half the holidays and alternating those holidays each year with you. You may be interested in teachings of Jesus because Jibber's has certainly ruined Judaism for you in the extreme way he practices it. However, if the judge questions how much of the dual holidays you can have, explain that parents and brothers are Jewish, they'll be coming to Tallahassee to spend those holidays, or well, half of that you're entitled to, or perhaps even 60% you're entitled to with the boys. Secondly, so what if, by some crazy stance, the judge says, okay, Jibbers can have all the Jewish holidays. Then, if our bride, bribe doesn't work, you tell him if our bribe doesn't work. Admitting to bribery. That's a crime. And tell him during the year that you'll take the kids out of Sunday school at church and cancel their upcoming baptism if he, sh if he shares those dates with you. If not, keep them there. So, child abuse. Not good. Donna. I'm starting to feel sorry for Wendy. <laughs> Even this thing above you just, God. Ugh. Since there is a separation of church and state, she'll just go by whatever schedule or given and tea to work out any holiday arrangements between yourselves. Who declares which are legitimate holidays and which aren't? Shmi Azeret. What does that mean? Oh. Is a Jewish holiday. It's second, twenty-second day of the Hebrew month of Land of Israel. Okay. Obviously, the court isn't out to help you. It's clear since Judge Hobbs last ruled that she couldn't care less about anything you say in half. You need to help yourself. Imagine not reading nine pages of this. You know, Wendy. Most of the wars have been fought for the last couple of thousand years have been over religion. Jeez. Charlie brought up a good point, and he said that Americans were dropping behind any enemy lines during World War II wearing Nazi uniforms to get what they wanted. They had a job to get done, they did it. With... You have a job to get done in a very short time frame to accomplish it. If you dressed your kids up in Hitler Youth uniforms and brought them down here, I could care less if it was an act of defiance and would show Jibbers that he is not in control. If your children are baptized, it doesn't make them Christian. Ben and Lincoln aren't really pirates because they dress like Jake the Pirate. It's an act. You got into this mess with Jibbers by being so compliant and non-confrontational with him. Man, she's abusive. She's abusive to Wendy. So uh, I don't know if Wendy would turn on her mum, but uh, this would... She could just thump this. Oh, hell. I don't want to stick up for Wendy at all. If you just keep paying your attorney $600 per hour and don't fight for what you want, you're no better off than you stayed... Married to him. Sure, you got rid of being unhappy in a marriage, so you don't have to live under the same roof, but he'll still be in control of everything, including what he wanted. Sole control of the boys' religious lives. Why let him? Why not stand up to this F U C K E R? Why not fight? 
Well, here's your start thoughts of um, executing him there with Donna. So Donna is the lead on this. Why not fight? We're not talking about a lifetime of this. You have the boys for a very limited number of days before the mediation takes place. Oh, wow. Now, there you go. There's your M-U-R-D-E-R plot. Why not fight? We're not talking about a lifetime of this. You have the boys a very limited number of days before the mediation takes place. This is all part of an act. Please rethink this. We're all willing to help you accomplish this. And that's all it is, Wendy, an act. An act of defiance that will put... It's not an act, it's a murder, Donna. So Donna is the lead, right? Well, Donna and Harvey... Donna and Harvey. It's not just Donna. Donna's the voice piece of Harvey, right? An act of defiance will put a scare into this jackass. It will infuriate him. It, will, it won't infuriate a judge that you found Jesus. She can't come in. Oh, she's telling her to find Jesus. So she's trying to push Wendy into religion, right? And use it as a war to murder... Man, she's so much like Laurie Vallow, this Donna Adelson. You need to see the big picture. You need to look into the future. What a life without your family nearby. Teaching in hell is... Tallahassee, Tallahassee with Danny always in the picture will give you, it's not a pretty picture. I could see Wendy's defense thumping this email back down in front of George and go, you try and be sane. She could, insanity defense, right? This is insane. We want to see you help yourself, not everyone that's comfortable or easy. Sometimes it's ridiculous hard, but Jibbers has tried to aggravate and screw you since day one of this divorce. No, he's not. He's trying to stand up for him and his kids, his rights. His vicious emails and his defiance with Dr. Pan's direction are asking him to come to school every day when he doesn't have the boys. His not allowing you to pick the children up one hour earlier to drive to Atlanta. His bad-mouthing you to the faculty at school you'll be working at. Everything he's done with malicious intent. Why can't you do this for the few days that you have the boys prior to mediation? You know him. You know which buttons to push. He certainly knows how to push your buttons. Take something from him right now. He's got everything just the way he wants. We need to take something from him in order for him to negotiate back. This is your chit. Okay. The extremism that Jibbers is already teaching the boys is nothing more than brainwashing. Religion is brainwashing. It's your control of the masses. It affects who your friends are, what activities you do, how you eat, how you dress, how you pray, everything. There's no doubt you will have two little orthodox young men on your hands with the only religious over the being gibbers. You already got them thinking that people eat shrimp are bad. Hot dogs are disgusting. Lobster is great. Wait, Ben's not even four years old. Wait till he's eight. You're not teaching them anything different. You don't teach it. Now she's abusing Wendy again. This abuse for Donna. Constant barrage of abuse. Mental abuse. You let them play in the park or in the house. Gibbers has an organized plan. So... This just says that Wendy, or if I can see why Wendy is playing down the um, the emails, right? Because she has guilty knowledge, and then Donna goes and just grabs Charlie because he's a psychopath and gets him to do it, right? Oh my god, that's my brain. Shell, 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 shell every Saturday morning. He has shell for every Sunday. He has them shell for every holiday. Shell parties. Shoal, shoal, shoal. We don't want you to be outsider who doesn't join them. The rest of the family is doing. So now, man, Donna is so abusive. So she's saying you'll be an outsider to a family if you go along with what your husband wants to do. Ex-husband. Wendy, this is all about negotiating. Exclamation mark. After consulting with two attorneys who are both excellent negotiators, one of whom we will most likely hire for the financial offer, we are getting to the same advice. You must take something from him that he wants. When you intelligently negotiate in mediation, you pretend you want the house. Even if you don't, you pretend you want the car. Even if you don't, you pretend you want the ring. Even if you don't care, you pretend you want the kids in Catholic school. So this is uh, Donna saying, Wendy, you don't really care about it all. You just want your life. And she said that. I just wanted my life back. But then she's got her mum saying, you don't care about any of it, but you need to care about it. It's not what you all want, but people in business do all the time. I 
Both attorneys have said that this is how you get what you want. If you can just take anything from him, and what we do is just oh, the financial offer. It's just not as good. And then look at this as well. What's the downside? Risk in a scenario is the judge does give him the Jewish holidays. Then after a short period of time, you offer to take the kids out of Catholic school if he shares the holidays or have a stipulation. So she's trying blackmail, right? Donna's playing. Donna is a not a good person ever. You you have a smart lawyer. She knows it. So it's just a you know using religion against the children. It's not against Dan. She's using it against the children. You know there needs to be a. The, the Mark Gales have got inf enough information in this one email to go for a civil suit, um, a wrongful death against Dan, um, and get paid. And then um, for the, on the children's behalf, so that, man, get a couple of million dollars just for the kids out of this email. Wendy, you don't manipulate people. You're a sweet, kind, caring person. Oh, now we can see what happened to Wendy. You just need to play a role. What you're doing is jockeying for position. In the end, if you do this, look at that. She actually says it back in 2.13. You do not manipulate people. You're a sweet, kind, caring person. Jibbers is a manipulator. You just need to play a role. What you're doing is jockeying. So Georgia, Georgia knows this. This is why they haven't arrested Wendy, because Wendy's got a massive defense from this email. Makes sense, right? Its psychopath mother has outed her as a nice person. Wendy, you don't manipulate people in 2013. You're a sweet, kind, caring person. Jibbers is a manipulator. You just need to play a role. What you're doing is jockeying for position in the end. If you do this and it doesn't get the results we're all hoping for, then you can't blame yourself. You can feel good that you did everything you could. Man, she just spent the first six pages abusing her. And now she's a sweet, kind person. Talk about gaslighting. I'm not saying that we're not going to continue with hiring and totally to negotiate a financial. I don't think you realize the type of offer we're considering. We're planning. So this is Donna and Harvey. We're planning on you, Charlie, and Dad and I going as high as equal parts in a million dollar offer. That's 330k from each of us. Obviously, the more chits on our side the better our chances that we won't have to go high, that high. You have to show us that you're doing part in this too. We're a team. We can't possibly do this without your help. Man, this is so abusive on Donna and Harvey's part. One of the most, one of the possibilities in lieu of that much money, obviously we start much lower, is offering just not taking them out of church, but negotiating a settlement which could possibly offer both boys private education at the Donna Klein Hebrew Day School in Boca. It may include monthly airline tickets. It may include monthly airline... Oh, golly. My computer's just so slow, like it can't handle all of this. It's still trying to get... If you're getting any value out of this, super thanks is down there. Um, like and subscribe. Share on social media. It may include monthly airline tickets to South Florida for as long as he lives in Tallahassee. Man, they must be rich. He may stop and think that if he can get a job in a city... If they wanted it so bad, why didn't they just put the million bucks in his bank and leave Wendy and Charlie alone? Right? Why didn't they do that? Why did they draw Wendy and Charlie into this plan? This email puts... Donna and Charlie, uh, Donna and Harvey at the top of the head of the snake, which I always thought Harvey was because he doesn't say a lot. But they would have talked about this. Harvey would have had Donna in, a, in his ear over and over and over and over. It may include a monthly airline tickets to South Florida for as long as he lives in Tallahassee. He may stop and think that if he can get a job in the city, he'd prefer to live in it. It would be an easy flight to see his children. He loves living in South Florida. Teaching at his current schedule with a big chunk of money. He could live down there. Oh, excuse me. I've been up since 5.30 in the morning. To come and uh, answer all the questions. He could live down here and for 26 weeks a year that he teaches and fly two days a week to Tally. He would have frequent liberal visit visitation. You're not looking to remove him from their lives. 
He needs to understand that. The negotiating lawyer will work with him. With the school schedule, we could see his children in a significant amount of time. His child support would be much less also. The child, the attorney will be doing the negotiating will lay it out on the line for him what the various payments would be worth in 15 to 18 years when he may want to retire. The amount is huge. This payoff can put him at the point without any additional income loan in the $4 million range. Certainly nothing. So $4 million. I just have to read that again because this is the first time I've seen the $4 million amount. Isn't it amazing how the state keeps this from the from the public? The various payment offers would be worth to him in 15 to 18 years when he may want to retire. The amount is huge. His payoff can put him at that point without any additional income under his own in the $4 million range. Certainly nothing he'd ever save in 10 lifetimes. You try this. You'll really not be any worse off than if you do nothing. So what's preventing you from just trying? So now we've got Wendy in 2013, just going through a divorce. She's a nice person. And then you've got this trauma of her mother on top of her. So I don't know if she is a nice person either because of a writing class radio. She says in 2016, but then this is 2013 and Writing Class Radio was in 2016. And I thought that Wendy might have gone through some tra trauma to, to turn into a psychopath. And and I'm not qualified to say that. There's the entertainment channel, in my opinion, it's just reaction to all of this that's online, right? I'm just reacting. So they're offering him $4 million through Wendy. And she's trying to force Wendy to offer this money. And she's saying, you're sweet. You, you don't want to be a part of this. I don't know how much of the big picture you're seeing, honey. Wow. It's gaslighting Wendy. I don't know if you realize that not only what you can provide for your boy's life, but for your own life all depends on this change. Aside from living in a far better city with family, your personal history there and you'll also have a greater opportunity to meet people for your future. I'm sure the many lovely women who are teachers, divorced with two children, you can be a highly successful, highly compensated attorney who is independent and not in need of someone to marry you can help support your two children. Now she doesn't even want her to be happy. She doesn't even want her to have a partner. She wants her to be single. You can have someone cleaning your home, a nanny to help with your children, a lifestyle in which you and the boys can travel. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to really turn your life around and make a positive difference in the lives of your children. Your expenses with the boys are now minimal. Wait until you see how expensive everything is in the future for them. We don't want you, and I wouldn't imagine you'll want to live paycheck to paycheck. Teenagers eat more than yogurt these boys eat now. What's wrong with living paycheck to paycheck? Oh, said it wouldn't swear. <laughs> Sorry, $2 in the swear jar. Everyone has a price. I'll go 90 days then. I'll add another 30 days. Every time I swear, like off my own bat, that's the first time I've actually did it off my own bat. So I'll add another 30 days. I'll go 90 days now. Sorry to my um, subscribers. Everyone has a price. You've got to admit, I did pretty well getting through that without swearing. <laughs> Everyone has a price. Now's the time to start. You said this divorce is not about winning and losing. Look at that. Wendy said this isn't about winning and losing. And that it's not a competition. Wendy's, Donna's quoting Wendy being a good person in 2013. You've already lost relocation according to the legal system. Well, it's about winning and losing. We're trying to get a win. You deserve it. You deserve so much more than life without family teaching in Tallahassee. Life is tough. If you don't stand up and take a chance, you don't stand a chance. Please, Wendy, do your part and stand up to him. Make an effort to do this so that our group offer will stand a better chance of being accepted. Don't let his temporary move to Tallahassee ruin your entire life. We all want the same thing. A better emotional... Eight pages I've read through. Come on, computer. If you want me to be able to do these this channel better, super thanks is down there um, for the content, and it'll help me buy a new computer. I need a couple grand. <laughs> and a financial life for you at the balls of the way around. You know, Grandma was one tough and very smart lady. I think about her all the time, as opposed to you, Wendy. 
and I think about what advice this very intelligent woman, a wonderful reader of people who love you more than words could ever express would say to you. Gosh, now she's using her ancestors to uh, abuse Wendy. She'd tell you to fight with every bone in your body. Fight for yourself, your boys, and for the best possible life you can have. You know that's true. Fight for yourself, Wendy. We'll be there to help you. Just don't tell us what you need to do now is moving forward with a sense of peace. That's giving up. I don't believe that's really what you want to do after we've been through together and when you are literally few wee weeks of hope over. Written with hope and love, mum and dad. That is the most abusive email I've ever read in my life from... Man, it makes me want to cry. That is the, that is the most... <laughs> That is the most abusive email I have ever read in my life to someone's daughter. That is appalling. Rotten jail. Lock up Harvey. <sighs> Wendy has a defence. I can see why they haven't arrested her. She has a defence. She has an abuse defence. Yeah. Wow. Light up my comment section. What do you think? Gosh, I'm worried now. You can see why Dan... You can see why Dan, Dan Markell fought for re, re, retri, retributive justice so that people aren't shamed, right? This is what she's done here. If Here in New Zealand, this is illegal to write an email like this. You can't do it as of 2015. Um, Charlotte, what's her name? A celebrity here committed S-U-I-C-I-D-E because a photo of her was shared online and she got abused for this sexy photo. And she committed S-U-I-C-I-D-E. After that, our government, our government reacts right away and sets laws. They made it illegal to abuse people online. And if you do it, and if anyone that shared that photo of her can be it can be done too. It's the um 2015 Digital Harm Act. And what Donna is doing here is and with mum and dad, written with hope and love, mum and dad. Harvey would have had to read that before it's sent, right? Otherwise, Harvey's going to have to turn on Donna. That is the most abusive email I've seen to a person. Right? I've, I've not seen anything like that before. And there's heaps of them. There's heaps of emails. There's more and more and more. Which we'll get to. Gosh. I'm just blown away. Please like and subscribe. Wow.